Good morning, people. My name is, and I am, I am. I am the voice of God. I am the angel of God. I am the word of God incarnate. All things were made by me. And without me was not anything made that was made. I am the light that shineth within the darkness. I am the resurrection of And the life. He that believeth in me, though he die, yet shall he live. I am the bright and morning star. Who am I but the Son of God? Greetings this morning. It is impressed upon my soul to share with you a divine revelation that I received upon the successful election of Barack Hussein Obama as president of the United States of America. I want you to know that I was highly and extremely affected by the election of President Barack Hussein Obama. Affected so much that I fear that I would not be able to report for work, for duty upon that day. It was as if, thank you, Lord. Someone had died. Oh, Father. It was as if I had lost my mother, my father, or perhaps even a child, one of my children. I was so highly, even as I am now, just reflecting upon it. And I didn't know why I I, I fell on my knees and and I began to internalize just, just where was all this emotion? What, what, what was it that moved me? so greatly about this man's election. And I I knew I had to go to work and I kept trying to get myself together to muster up the strength to even go to work. And I kept asking the father Within me, I said, Lord, what is it? What is it about the election of this president? I, I you know, I participate in, in politics. I know many of you don't, but I do. And I said, what is it about this man's election that I am so greatly Affected. Why am I so distraught? What is it that has affected my soul? And I was in the shower at this time. And that's basically my prayer closet. Uh, I received many revelations in the shower. Everybody has their own prayer closet, so to speak. Mine is the shower. And God showed me, he opened up my third eye, he 
to blackness. All was black. Now this is the light that shineth within the dark as I am. But as I pierce into the darkness, because the darkness could not extinguish the light. And the light of the third eye began to shine. Various colors, the red, the yellow, the blue, the orange. And all of a sudden, a brightness that exceedeth the brightness of the sun. All of a sudden, behold, hear what I'm saying to you. A new day. And I'm here to tell you that the election of Barack Hussein Obama signifies and bears witness to a new beginning. A new beginning for the world, a new beginning for the universe. Now, it makes no difference about whether or not you agree with the man's politics or not. It makes no difference whether or not he knows that he is an instrument of the Most High. But I'm here to tell you that the election of President Barack Hussein Obama represents the dawning of a new day. Barack Hussein Obama is the herald of a new beginning. Those of you who are Christian and are familiar with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, I want you to place Barack Hussein Obama, though it may seem blasphemous to many of you, I said I want you to imagine Barack Hussein Obama crucified between two thieves. You know the story. And you know who and what the people did concerning the crucifixion of Jesus. Barabbas we know. But this charlatan, this imposter, we do not. He maketh himself a king and lord over us. Crucify him. They cried out. And give us Barabbas. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Barabbas was a thief and a murderer. Now, you know the rest of the story. After he gave up the ghost. And you know what occurred. You know the story. I'm saying to you that Barack Hussein Obama is the herald of a new beginning, of a glorious beginning. And behold, I give you information that should affect you in a positive way. Those of you who are familiar with diesel fuel, those of you who are familiar with nitroglycerin, and this is the point that I'm going to drive home at this time. Diesel fuel fires under pressure. We are under so much pressure at this time, and I'm talking to you, black man and woman of America. We are under tremendous pressure. Diesel fuel fire under pressure. Nitroglycerin fires under disturbance. Behold, a new beginning. We are the nitros of God. It won't be long now, my beloved. 
what you see now, the, the chaotic state of our mind, the confusion of our mind is a revelation. The elements of the atom are speeding up and accelerating. It is being condensed, condensed only to explode and bring about a new beginning, a new day. This is what time it is, my beloved. Think not, but hold on. Your promises and your desire will and shall be fulfilled shortly. Peace.